हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी इन दिस लेक्चर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड सुडो कलर इमेज प्रोसेसिंग इन इमेज प्रोसेसिंग देयर आर टू टाइप्स फर्स्ट वन इज फुल कलर इमेज प्रोसेसिंग एंड सेकंड वन इज सुडो कलर इमेज प्रोसेसिंग हियर लेट अस अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट सुडो कलर इमेज प्रोसेसिंग the pseudo color is nothing but the false color so pseudo color means a false color here we are assigning the colors to gray values based on some specific criteria so in pseudo color image processing we are assigning color to gray values based on some specific criteria we are doing this for human visualization and interpretation of gray scale images so we are assigning the color to gray values for human visualization and interpretation of gray scale images this is an example of pseudo color image processing here left side we are having an image for this image we are performing pseudo color image processing and assigning different colors so that it is easy for visualization as well as interpretation of the images so that it can easily analyzed there are two methods in pseudo color image processing first one is intensity slicing and second one is gray level to color transformation in this lecture we will understand about intensity slicing in intensity slicing an image is considered as 3d function mapping and it is plotted as spatial coordinates to the intensity as shown in this figure so we are considering an image as 3d function of mapping and it is plotted as spatial coordinate to the intensity let us consider a plane that is at a certain level to the coordinates of the plane so which means it is splicing this intensity value of the image into two half and the upper section we can assign one color and for the lower section of this coordinates we can assign another color likewise we can use multiple planes to assign different color for the image intensity for example if we take x and y axis with the intensity values of the image so let us consider this as y and x axis at the origin point we will consider this as black with different intensities we will take black as l not likewise we will take one plane at l1 we will take another plane at l2 and so on we will take another plane at lp at the origin as i told you we will consider that as black and the higher intensity where we are having l minus 1 we will consider that as white so that is what it is explained here in general the intensity slicing can be summarized as let 0 to l minus 1 represent gray scale values so here 0 represents black and l minus 1 represents white let l not represent black where the intensity value of an image will be f of x y will be equal to 0 and let l l minus 1 represent white where image intensity value f of x comma y will be equal to l minus 1 and plane p is represented perpendicular to the intensity axis so plane p are represented perpendicular to the intensity axis and we will take different planes as l not l1 l2 and so on up to lp let us assume p is ranging between 0 to l minus 1 then p planes partitions the gray scale into p plus 1 intervals so partitions can be named as v1 v2 and so on up to vp plus 1 so which means this partition we can name this as v1 v2 and so on like that we can name up to vp plus 1 so we are having p planes which will be having total p plus 1 intervals so as you can see in this diagram we are having this as one interval this as second interval and so on up to p plus 1 intervals now to assign different colors to gray level we can use this formula which means we are taking f of x comma y is equal to ck if f of x comma y belongs to vk so here for example let us say 
we are assigning a color for f of x comma y as c1 if f of x comma y belongs to v1 if the intensity of an image belongs to v1 we can assign color c1 in the same way if the intensity of gray level belongs to v2 we can assign color c2 and so on here ck is the color that is associated with kth intensity level vk defined by partitioning plane at l is equal to k minus 1 and l is equal to k so you just need to remember this formula where we are assigning some particular color if this intensity is belonging to the particular partitioning of a plane there is one more alternative representation for intensity slicing as shown in this figure as you can see here in this axis we are taking gray levels from 0 to l minus 1 so for particular value of gray level from 0 to l i we are representing with color c1 from l i to l minus 1 we are representing with another color so we have divided this gray level to be represented in two different colors so likewise we can divide this gray level into multiple color representation so we can assign two colors to gray levels that are ranging from 0 to l minus 1 likewise we can assign multiple colors for gray level that is ranging from l minus 1 so here we are taking an example where we are having an image of radiation test pattern for this image we are assigning eight different color regions so that we can easily analyze this image in the same way we are having an x-ray image for this x-ray image we are assigning two color regions so that it can be easily analyzed in the same way we can use multiple color representation as you can see in this diagram where we are taking the rainfall statistics image and we are representing that into multiple colors so that it is easily analyzed this is about intensity slicing in pseudo color image processing in the next lecture we will understand about gray level to color transformation hope you have understood this topic thank you